Hello, loves, it's me, Paul. And me, Jesse. Collectively, we are those vegan guys. Thank you. Uh, now, listen here, listen up. There's some information here, and it's very crucial to what we're about to do. Apparently, it's crucial. <laughs> so, we've, we've come to Asda, as no doubt has been shown on the thumbnail. But that's not created yet. This is the start of the whole process. Um, we've come, really, to to have a look at what's new, to document new stuff. What's new or new to us, predominantly? Yeah. I mean, we'll show you bits. We're not going to go through every individual item, though, because we've done that already. Yes. And if you want to see a more... Um, comprehensive. Comprehensive Asda vlog, do check out uh, that one that I'm linking to there. And in about 30 seconds, when I'm allowed to, I'll link our full shopping vlog playlist because there's loads in there, like, from the last couple of years. So, obviously, the most recent ones are the most relevant. Yes. Uh, but we, yeah, we did do um, an Asda vlog in for January, I think. I think we did them all, all the major ones in yeah, yeah, yeah. January. It, it was quite a big one. So, we, we're literally here to see what's new. Uh, but like I said, we'll show you some bits anyway, because we always do. We'll show you bits and things, All like Paul says, things. as we always do. Um, so, yeah, what's new? What's new to us? What's jumping off the shelves at us? And we're like, ooh. I'm hoping they've still got these croissants and pan of chocolate, because I might take a break from my breakfast fasting. As a one-off. Uh, yeah. 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 I have a treat at weekends. Ch potentially chocolate cookies in the in the bakery section that are vegan. Um, Asda did actually uh, win an award, uh, Best Vegan Retailer of the Year in November 2021. So, let's go in and find out what's going on. Shopping Vlogs playlist for all UK stores and, yes. and budget shops. Yes. Well worth having a look at. But we're not here for that. We're here for Asda. Come shopping with us. Come. <laughs> Can we go in? Yeah. Right, starting here with um, ready, ready kind of made stuff that you can just buy and go. Now Sainsbury's have, have um, uh, pulled back on their kind of vegan options. There's these two. There's this, which we've just picked up for uh, lunch. We're going to have this for lunch today. 330. I'm quite excited about that. And there's these two bowls down here for 275. No chicken katsu salad and a Mexican style salad. Hey, well done, Asda. You've done right well. I said right well. As we told you, we're focusing on stuff we haven't seen before in Asda. We've just spotted these, so they're competing with um, Aldi for brioche burger buns. A pound. Just a pound, look. Marvellous. Now we know we've shown you these naan breads before. The uh, garlic and co the Ria's company. Um, the garlic and coriander, the plain and the spicy, they're all 150. They've all got two really big naan breads in and they're all marked vegan. We just spotted these though. Um, light lavash bread. Uh, you get four in there, clearly marked vegan, £1.35. What's the date on them, Jay? Because I, I won't mind getting some of them. Uh, 15th of June. Yeah, get them. Yeah. yeah? Yeah, yeah, Instead of wraps one night yeah, for something yeah. lovely for one thirty-five. Marvellous. Onward. Here, tell you what, Beryl, I'm glad it's weekend and I can have a treat. Luke, look, they've got these lovely desserts on the, in our one, they're with all the fresh cream cakes. Uh, so, just in case it's the same for you. Got two golden syrup sponge puddings, two chocolate and salted caramel desserts, and two lemon cheesecakes. And they're all £1.75. So you can't grumble. Well, you can, but you'd be daft. Plant-based cookies for when you fancy a treat. Choc chip and double choc chip. £1.65. Don't come in your coffee. Get your feet up and watch Neighbours. Oh, it's finished. What a shame. This is the, uh, we've shown you before, this is the plant-based section on, unfortunately, on the corpse aisle. And I'm sorry if anyone gets upset for me saying corpse aisle, but 
that's what those are, they're corpses, bits of dead animal. Uh, anyway, uh, this is it's all the general stuff here in Asda. We don't know if we've seen them before. Uh, Richmond barbecue sauce flavour sausages. So they're, they're new to us. And don't forget, Asda's one of the only places where you can get the berry black pudding, which is vegan approved and it's only £1.25 if you ever fancy it. The sausages are £2.50, by the way. Oh, yeah. And then, you know, all bits. You know, all bit. Oh, I've not seen this be these before, Jay. Battered prawn style pieces. Oh, yeah, new to us. I've not seen those before either. Get them. Yeah? Yeah. And look at this and all. Meat free Korean style chicken wings with a sauce. Fabulous. Both £2.35. Yeah, get one of them as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I don't think I've seen that before. I'm not going to get one of these, but sweet and sour chicken balls, look. Can I just point something out as well that's probably really obvious to a lot of people? And chicken Kievs. What, what I really like about this range is not only is are they all clearly marked vegan, they're also all clearly marked freezable. Ah, that helps, doesn't that's it? That's a good thing. Right, onwards. Say that again, Brommers. I said <laughs> that it's a little bit that they're competing with the pucker pies, so it's one pie for £1.50, but it's pretty substantial. So there you go, that's what I said. He did say that, and there's the price. What did he say, Jess? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing it. No. We haven't seen these before either, with all the kind of general pastries, so you've got the walls, you know, vegan roll and stuff, but, uh, yeah, plant-based, uh, meat-free, steak and gravy slices, two in a pack, £1.75, on the chiller aisle, without rest at pies. We're on the kind of vegan dairy section here, and we've spotted a couple of things, again, that we haven't seen before. Um, we did, we, we've only ever seen them in Sainsbury's, so it's really good that the, the vegan baby bells are in here for £2. Uh, the desserts are here too, so they're in two places. That's great. And we've never seen this before, like, at all. Um, nourish grated cheese. Uh, and then all the usual fare. They've got their vegan boursin. And they've also got cocoa yogurts, uh, peach and passion fruit, £1.10. We just stood here at another plant-based section, wondering which of these uh, meals Jason's tried on his lunchtime taste tests. That I definitely haven't because it's oven. Right. Uh, but yeah, they've got loads of stuff, uh, Douglas Spring Rolls, Smoky Toffee Burrito, uh, Spicy Mexican Style Rice Bowl, sounds lovely, Vegetable Feast Pizza, Lentil Cottage Pie, Veggie Gnocchi, Jay thinks he's tried that. I'm pretty sure I have. It looks really good. Yeah. Uh, lasagna, spaghetti and meatballs, all kinds of bits, you know all bits. And of course, lovely tofu. Yeah, I do love my tofu. Right, onward. I think we've pointed these out to you before, but as I recall on the last vlog, I don't think there was a price. But they are vegan bacon flavour crumbles to use in cooking, sprinkle on salads or pasta. The 166, and for the first time, I've got them in my trolley. Tell Martha, she'll want them. She's that kind of woman. I'm just going to show you these because they're in here and Jason's a big fan of them and they're a pound like they were in Sainsbury's not so long back and they're gorgeous if you like cappuccino beautiful they like M&M's but I wanted to show you this look at this clearly marked vegan Asda's own vegan mayo and vegan salad cream 85p and 95p respectively can you gamble also worth noting, because I don't think I've mentioned these before either, two vegan pâtés, a vegetable one and a mushroom one, and they're both £1.35. You know, if you fancy some on a cracker. And a whole other section again, plant-based and vegan, with just loads and loads and loads and loads of all kinds of different things and stuffs. And, you know, all bits. Oh, who don't love a bit? Do you love a bit, Jason? I love a bit. <laughs> And <laughs> this is where you'll find your, uh, on this aisle, you'll find some nooch and, you know, all kinds of stuff. So, yeah, 
There you go. If you've never tried these pip and nut things and the Love Raw, oh you must. The Love Raw Luke. Cream wafer bar, milk chalk. Banned at the moment. Got two in my trolley. Be rude not to really. Nothing necessarily new jumping out to us in the freezer section, so if you want a good look in the freezer section, don't forget the uh, earlier vlog that I linked earlier in this one. Just a reminder, in case you didn't know, that if you haven't looked at the biscuits, particularly the Orm brand biscuits in Asda, you'll find many of them, particularly the kind of plain ones, are very clearly marked vegan and are very, very cheap. Um, so yeah, check them out because they're worth looking at. They're probably the best supermarket when it comes to vegan marked biscuits. Well, at least some of these are new, so it'd be rude not to show you. They're in the freezer. Uh, Meat-free chicken wings with barbecue sauce and chicken wings with a sweet chilli sauce. Chilli cheese sausages, all these are 2 50 I think the meat-free classic burgers have always been here. And uh, the four meat-free curry chicken fillets. Oh, they sound nice and all. Yeah, £2.50. Lovely. All us bits. All right, not much, but still all us bits. Price I'm paying. Yes, I would like to continue. Me, Luke, there's me. <laughs> well, we hope you enjoyed that little flaunt with us around um, around Asda. So it does seem that the croissants and uh, panel chocolate vegan versions that they brought out may have... Have you got them in your store? The vegan croissants and pan au chocolate well, that's not. that Aldi brought out at Christmas and uh, in Veganuary and then got rid of. And then Asda apparently brought their own versions out, but we couldn't find them in there. However, it was good to see those vegan desserts. Yeah, big time. The <clears throat> lemon cheesecake ones we've, we've picked up. You know, and all bits, all new bits well, of it, things. But yeah. like I said before, if you want a more thorough look, do check out the aforelinked linked uh, vlog because it's worth it. It's worth having, that's where we do a proper kind of in-depth look. In a lot of ways, Asda are smashing it out of the park. I think it's fair to say, and I said it right at the start of this vlog when we first went in, particularly on their um, off-the-shelf meal deal section. Yes. You know, they've actually got yeah. f like five options Good now. prices as well. Yeah, really actually. good. Um, lots of good stuff chilled, lots of good stuff freezers. Absolutely. And they've got the whole kind of dried range if you're into that kind of stuff. I've been doing a lot more beans lately in my Instant Pot and um, uh, just kind of focusing more on that kind of stuff. I'm still having, as you saw, bought, still bought processed food yeah. to have. I'll never change. I'll just eat healthier sometimes. <laughs> so shall we get home and have our lovely vegan sushi? Yeah, but can we just mention the failing um, in Asda is one of them anyway, is wine labelling. Mm. Um, we're just not prepared to look at every bottle, but we can't find a one that says vegan. And uh, it's always been the case that Aldi, Sainsbury's and Tesco and Morrison's are actually really good with their vegan wine labelling. You can see it on the bottle clearly, but you've got to look. Yeah. Um, that's one of the, the ways they they fall down. But hey, they still won Vegan Retailer of the Year 2021. Yeah. Didn't they? So, yeah. you know what I mean? They're doing a lot right, they are. to be fair. They're doing a lot right. This is a really good, diverse range and selection. Some of which, of course, we've shown you in this very vlog. Um, and now we are going to get off get home and uh, eat our lunch go in Sainsbury's first oh yeah so if there's an addendum it was some new bits we saw in Sainsbury's just for record um, <laughs> is that it? I think so I love you mister love you mm. love you guys thank you so so much for watching and uh, as always please be excellent to yourselves and each other <coughs> bye loves take me to Sainsbury's brothers I told you, did so we'd probably add something on at um, Sainsbury's. So this is the new kind of summer edition range. Carrot and red pepper falafel burgers, two quid. Katsu butternut burgers, two quid. Tandoori spiced veg skewers, two fiddy. No lamb kofta skewers, three pound. 
and no pork ribs uh, for four pound. So, and of course, as always with Sainsbury's, they've got the usual fabulous range of everything in. In so, it's nice to see those new bits for summer. And now the vlog's over.